Hey everyone, I'm back again with a, another video. This time I wanted to take you through my process for page creation. I'll admit that there was nothing very challenging about the creation of this page. Everything was pretty much straightforward, but regardless, I still think you could gain some value from looking over my shoulder and seeing my process. So I've actually pre-recorded this, so I've sped up the video and I'm going to attempt to narrate what it is that I'm doing. Now, mind you, I did this a few weeks ago, so I might not remember everything, but I'll try my best to go ahead and tell you what it is that I'm doing. Uh, right now I'm putting an expression on this character, Lumaya, and expressions are very important. I find with a lot of 3D comics, the faces look stale, and that's something that I really try and stay away from. So I spend a lot of time just working on the subtleties of expression to get my characters looking more lifelike, um, rendering the image right now. And then I'm bringing it into Photoshop to add my set of filters. And usually what I do is I go back and forth between Daz and Photoshop. So while Photoshop is, um, while I'm rendering images in Photoshop, sorry, while I'm rendering images in Daz Studio, then I go back to Photoshop and process my work there. Most of what I do has been condensed into Photoshop Actions, so I just don't have to do the same steps over and over again. It saves me a lot of time. Now I'm using Comic Life, and I like to use Comic Life to do the basic layout of the page. I usually work at 11 by 17 at 300 DPI, and when I export that blank page with just the panels that I want, I turn those panels into clipping masks, and then use the images that I've rendered from Daz Studio in those clipping masks to create the page. Right now I'm using uh, Grammarly to edit my script. I actually don't write the script in the computer. I prefer to do that in a, in a notebook. And then what I do is write the script into Grammarly just to do uh, a, another check of the words and make sure that there's no spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes. It's, it's a nice second pair of eyes. And then from there, I type the, the text in Photoshop. And I try and lay it out as, as nicely as I can. So here I am doing more editing in Grammarly. But this panel here, I didn't really like the text in the middle of her eyes. You'll see later that I changed it. But for now, that's that's what's there. I, I went back and forth between that. So if there were any headaches about this page, it was that second panel there and the text in the middle of her forehead. I didn't really like that at all. I usually look at the page that comes before as a reference for the next page that comes after, just to make sure that things are consistent and there's nothing... You know, there's no nothing jarring between the two pages. Here I am adjusting that second panel again, and I'm not quite sure what it is that I want to do. So the good thing about doing it digitally is I can move things around, see where things go, see if another composition looks better. I can do a lot of experimentation without having to redo a lot of work. So here's the finished page. As you can see, I finally settled on a composition that I like for the second panel, that one that was giving me so much trouble. Overall, I'm happy with the way things turned out. You can see the whole page and other pages of my webcomic at blacksuncomics.com. There you can also download a free preview of my first book, Black Sun, The Longest Night. So please visit if you haven't already. That's blacksuncomics.com. If you like what you saw, please click like, please subscribe and share these videos. Your word of mouth goes a long way in helping to promote the comics. So your support is greatly appreciated. Please check out some of the other Daz Studio tutorial videos on my channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.